Oh, hey, welcome to day one. Today, we started a new project. As you can see, we are sanding and refinishing about 2,000 square feet of two and a quarter select white oak. Now, you see me starting to do the rough sanding here. Now, these floors aren't in too bad a shape, as you might have seen right away, but uh, this is actually an insurance job. You can see here, uh, we've got water damage. Now, this is all over the floor. This is called crowning. Um, you might have heard of cupping before. This is actually the opposite. So on these boards, um, it's raised in the middle of the board instead of at the very edge of the board. Um, that comes from moisture above. That's kind of the difference in, in cupping and crowning. Cupping happens at the edges of the board and is from moisture beneath the floor. Um, and it'll cause it, uh, cause the edges of the board to, to raise. Whereas if there's been moisture sitting on top of the wood, um, which can be caused from many different things. Maybe, maybe someone's mopping the floor. Maybe it's um, animal urine. It could, it could be all sorts of different things that would cause crowning. Um, but this floor has quite a bit of crowning going on as well as they had um, some plumbing issues and we're going to be doing a repair in an area um, which you will see here shortly. Um, but the vast majority of the day was spent with the big machine and we're actually using 60 grit paper on this one to um, take off the old finish. This, Like I said, these floors other than the water damage, weren't in that bad a shape. So the 60 grit is cutting it really nice and cleaning it off. So I was able to go over pretty much the entire floor today um, with the big machine. Um, you haven't seen him yet, but Xavier's with me today as well. And he is chasing me around the house doing the edging. I believe you'll see him here in just a second. And he's also using 60 grit and going all over the house. This, this house is very cut up tons of hallways and closets and uh, pantries and just very cut up floor. So uh, Xavier's definitely got his work cut out for him over these next few days. Tons of, tons of edging to do. So happy to have him along with me this week. Um, so here you see him doing the edging. Um, this floor is going to, oh, we're down to the repair. So I'll talk about that for a second. Here I'm using a product made by Vacol called PU280. This is a moisture barrier um, and we're sealing the concrete here. Once that was dry, I put some plywood down and now I'm kind of cutting out the wood. It was all cut in a straight line here and uh, either bringing it up to old butt joints or cutting out at new butt joints. And then tomorrow we'll be working on the repair and weaving that into place. Um, before it got to that, that clip of me um, sealing the concrete there, I was just gonna mention that this floor is going to be going natural. Um, so it's gonna look kind of just like it did originally, except it's gonna be flat and smooth and with no, no water damage. So uh, I guess the change in this one's not gonna be too drastic visually, um, but you know, we're gonna make the whole floor look brand new again, like it, like it originally did before all this water damage happened. So they had issues beneath, so that section of the floor had had uh, cupping issues. And then I, I don't know what caused the crowning that's all over in different areas of the floor. I don't know if it seeped through and was sitting on top or, or what happened, but this floor has both. You don't see that too often. But uh, anyway, that was today. We'll plan to see you tomorrow.